Hey guys and welcome back to Plant Kraus. If you want to learn how to make a bootable media for Windows 10 on a thumb drive, you might want it for a new build and you don't want to wait for your product ID to get in the mail, uh, or you're just doing a nuke and pave and a new install of Windows 10, stick around, I'll show you how. All right guys, so you ready to follow along? So grab yourself a USB thumb drive. Make sure it is a 3.0 or higher, being a 3.1 or 3.2. But the inside of it has, it might be a little hard to see, but the inside of it has a blue plastic piece in it. As long as it's blue, it's a good indication uh, that it is 3.0 or higher. Sometimes they're like red. Um, that could be like a 3.1 or 3.2. I, I think there's some other colors starting to come out. Maybe orange or something. But anyway, make sure it is uh, 3.0 or higher. Uh, sometimes on the back or on the USB itself, it'll say 3.0. Uh, that's just to uh, make sure that you have good speed with it. Now, uh, two things. One, you want to make sure that it is a clean thumb drive. In other words, there's no data on it or no data you want to be on it because once you create this uh, media, uh, it is going to be um, completely erased. Everything you have on it is going to be gone. So um, either make sure it's a brand new one or make sure it's got nothing on it you want to save. If not, go ahead and save what you need to save. The other thing is, is make sure it is at least an 8 gigabyte thumb drive. Um, this happens to be a 16 gig, so it's plenty of space, but uh, Windows 10 uh, for the media creation tool, you need to have something that's at least 8 gigs or higher. Um, so uh, 16 gigs is fine. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and grab your USB thumb drive, stick it into an empty 3.0 port um, on your computer, and um, then so you can see right there i do have uh, excuse me for a second so right there i do have um this is a brand new thumb drive this is just the software stuff that comes with it it's it's nothing uh, so uh, the next thing what you're going to do is you're going to open up your web browser and you are going to type in the search for the media creation windows 10 media creation tool uh, it's right there for me click on it it's usually the first one it's the um, uh, download the Windows 10 um, disk image um, we're not doing the ISO image but this is the one that we want to click on so you can see right up here the the whole URL if you want to type that in verbatim go ahead if not you can just do the Google search and it'll bring it up. So now you have a couple options here. One is to update now. It's uh, update if you're going for, um, uh, you know, from like Windows 8 or whatever. Um, or you just be in Windows 10, an older version of Windows 10, you can update it. So, um, this, but what you want here is the Windows, create Windows 10 installation media. So you want to click on the download now button and that downloaded that quick it's down there we're going to exit out of here we don't long, no longer need that now open up your downloads folder or wherever you have set your downloads to now all the only thing you have to do is double click on this to open it up select yes And now it is getting some things ready as it displays. <clears throat> okay. So you have no choice but to accept this. Go ahead and accept it. And okay, so now here you have a couple of options. One is to upgrade this PC now. We do not want that. The second option is create installation media USB flash drive. 
uh, DVD or ISO image um, uh, for another PC. So that is the option that you want to select. Next, we're going to uncheck the use the recommended option for this PC. Don't need that. This is uh, more for, you know, if you're just, I, I mean, a lot of people, that's probably what they will do if you're just a homeowner and you're just doing it for your PC and you're not doing upgrades or building other PCs, that's fine. You can do that. But we're going to uncheck that. Everything's pretty standard here, uh, as long as you're in the United States, uh, select English. And uh, Windows 10, there's no other selection under Windows 10, it's just Windows 10. It'll come with your Pro and uh, the Pro Edition and the Home Edition and all the other stuff. Uh, and the 64-bit is the one that you want, unless you want 32, but I don't know why you would want 32. Uh, click Next. Now, the these two options, we're going to leave it on the USB flash drive. And right down here, you can see that we have the USB flash drive. It is the F flash drive. And that is what it's seeing as an option because it's the only flash drive I have plugged in. So it's smart enough to see that. Click Next. And it has already started. I'm not, I'm gonna skip through this or speed it up and uh, it shouldn't take all but a couple minutes. As you can see, it's going pretty quick here. So, see you in just a second. As this approaches near the finish mark, I just wanted to <clears throat> share with you, after you're done uh, creating this, you can go ahead, if you have like a label printer or maybe a sticker or something, you can uh, <clears throat> create a label and you can label it, you know, Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Home. <clears throat> um, it, it really doesn't matter if you label it Pro or Home uh, because when you launch this, uh, if you're installing Windows for the first time again or doing a... Um, uh, reinstall of Windows you get the home and pro edition as an option of whichever one and based off of what you've paid for already with that motherboard um, or you know later on you put in the uh, Windows product ID it, it's going to select it for you anyway um, so as you can see our our USB is now ready and um, that is it. Now, if you come down to the, uh, well, we can come in here and we can come into the uh, USB uh, flash drive. So, uh, within here, you don't really need to know uh, any of this stuff that's in here, but this is just what it's going to look like. You have your boot uh, folder and all that. So, um, yeah, so your your flash drive is ready to use. Don't use it for anything else. Uh, it's kind of like a Cronus. Uh, just use it as that. You know, go ahead and uh, put a label on it, store it away. And uh, it is a good idea, though, maybe uh, once or twice a year to make a new one. Um, you know, you can reuse the same flash drive, but go ahead and make a new one because um, Windows has two updates every year and you're going to get a new version and if you have a two three year old flash drive that has Windows 10 on it yeah it's going to work but uh, it could become so old that it's going to take you forever to do updates and uh, this way it's a lot faster and you already have the Windows 10 um, 20H2 right on it uh, with probably all the updates at least as of the last uh, last time maybe not this March update that just came out but you will have all the way up to what last uh, uh, September October uh, uh, last year 2020 so um, now another thing that I wanted to add with Windows 10 you don't have to do a safe ejection of the USB flash drive if you feel that's okay you know you can do it um, but otherwise you can actually just 
pull out the flash drive once it's done reading or writing to it. But if you want to, you come down here to your taskbar. The taskbar is all the way at the bottom. Come down here. And right here where it says it has like, you, sometimes you might have a little arrow. You might have to click on the up arrow. Uh, but I have all my icons displayed down here, so I don't have that because I want to see what's going on in the PC. But when you come down here, as you see this little flash drive symbol, and it goes safely remove or eject media. So you can click on that, and then you can uh, select that, and you can actually just click on that. And now it's ready to be removed. So that's that's, you know, no problem right there. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to click uh, on the like button, subscribe, share the content, comment below if you wish, and until next time, take care.